is Eddie Pinheiro to get this one started. And off we go from Vegas. He fields it at the 8. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Raiders offense set to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback, drafted back in 2019 out of Washington State. It's Gardner Minshew. Don't let this guy's laid-back personality fool you, Mike. He is a tremendous presence to have in your quarterback room. Not only does he have the ability to manage the game at a high level, but your team has a legitimate chance to beat anyone in the league whenever he's under center. Now, I don't know if I'd classify him as a long-term solution, but he's certainly someone every franchise they would love to have. Only a game of one on the game's opening play. go again with White. Up the sideline to the 40. And they bring him down, but not until he gets the 45-yard line. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us. And right now, this defense has no answers. On first and 10, it's Minshew. He finds the rookie from Georgia, Brock Bowers. Give him 12 on that one. They are on the march. Another first down. And you see the rookie tight end, Brock Bowers, pick up the first down. Mike, of all the tight ends that I've watched in college over the last, call it, 10 years or so, I'm not sure if I've seen a more dynamic, ready-for-the-NFL tight end than Brock Bowers. I mean... Two-time Mackey Award winner, 700-plus yards each of the last three seasons. He can get downfield. He can make tough catches. He can run with the ball after the catch. I mean, there's not a lot this guy can't do, and I think he's got a shot to be that next big-time young breakout rookie tight end. Look him up on a second down and eight. First carry of the game for Alexander Madison. He is met and dropped. Good defense. Loss of a couple on that play. These are the impact plays that this linebacker is capable of, Mike. Not only dissecting and determining where the ball was going, but then to shoot through the line of scrimmage and make this tackle for a loss. That's a big-time play by a really good player. They're going to go play action now with Minshew. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. On fourth down, last year's all-pro punter A.J. Cole on now for the Raiders. Raheem Blackshear is set to return for the Panthers. That's going to be out of bounds, no return. And the drive's going to start from just inside the 20-yard line. The Panthers now ready to get to work on offense for the first time. They are led out by the veteran, the one they call the Red Rifle. Dating back to his old days at TCU, it's Andy Dalton. I had a coach tell me earlier in my career, Mike, specifically about the quarterback position. If you don't have fast feet, you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football. And while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind center, that experience being in these moments before, man, having that quick mind, there's not a whole lot of defense is going to throw at him that he hasn't seen. Second down and three. The motion man is Sanders. To throw is Dalton. We'll go right back to Thielen. Again, it's complete. And he's got it to the 35-yard line. It's 
set to go now on first and ten. Tremble comes in motion. Now the first carry for Chuba Hubbard. And he'll only be able to muster a couple of yards. Trayvon Merrick up to make the tackle. Second down and eight. Another run here with Hubbard. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Depending on the situation or the down and distance, Mike, the linebackers have different reads. Sometimes they read the offensive lineman. Sometimes they read the running back. In this case, his read brings him right to the play. He's able to make a big stop and keep the game to nothing. On third down, they'll set up to throw. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. Fourth down, the longtime special teams ace, Johnny Hecker, on to punt. Back deep, it's Trey Tucker. Oh, the coverage was great. They gave him no room to operate and made him pay for catching the ball. The Raiders' offense going to take over now for the second time. Both teams matching punts to start this one, so they'll go about trying to get something put together on the offensive side. It's first and ten. In motion is Myers. Off the play fake, it's Minshew. No chance at all. He'll go down. When you can bring cornerbacks on pressure, man, that changes everything for the defensive play caller. Offenses spend all week worrying about linebackers, defensive linemen. How are they going to protect the quarterback? But when you can time up a secondary pressure like this, man, oftentimes there's no answer for it. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. No run over center with White. Well, that helps. It's going to be a much more manageable third down, getting some good yardage on that second down play. It's not just the blockers creating yards for him out there. He created most of that yardage on his own, shrugging off the initial tackle attempt and continuing to rumble downfield. Third down, three to go. They'll try to run for it. Here's White. Trying to find some seam out there, but he will not. They get him behind the line, and fourth down is coming up. I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut, Mike. You can see he was a little hesitant, and once you're late making that decision, you just kind of get strong laterally. Great job there by the defense, and he has no choice but to take that loss. Here's A.J. Cole now. And he'll be looking for something better after that poor first punt. And the receiver with a fair catch, taken successfully. And that's where he'll turn it over to the offense. The Panthers offense, ready to see what they can do on their second possession. They were forced to punt the first time they had it, but they'll try again in this scoreless game. It's first and ten. So they come to the line for first down and 10. This drive begins with a run by Hubbard. And he'll get this only to about the 20.
promotion man is Sanders. Dalton. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. And he might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. This pass rush is continuing to make their presence felt here in the early going, and for this quarterback, he's lucky to at least get rid of that ball because they're on the verge of recording their second sack, and we're still here in the first quarter. Dalton to throw. There's a short one caught by Sanders. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. It seemed to me, Mike, before that ball was even snapped, the quarterback had already made up his mind. I'm throwing the ball to the tight end no matter what the look is, and he's counting on the big body picking up the rest after the catch, and even though he's able to secure the ball, nice job by the defense keeping him short of the sticks. Well, Raiders offense ready to get back to work. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Drive begins with a run by White. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. the effort he got half a couple of tackles but ultimately the defense gets him for a loss of yardage third and long they'll fake the give and now it's Minshew and that is incomplete Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And this offense just cannot get anything going right now on third down. If you ask any offensive play caller throughout the entire league, Mike, the importance of third down, maintaining possession, making the defense stay on the field and have long extended drives, it is critical to not only scoring points, but ultimately winning in the NFL. And not much doing there. They made sure he would not get free. Here's the Carolina offense now as they head out to take over for their next possession. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. ground this is Hubbard and he goes forward good gain on that one pick up of eight out to the 33 yard line we'll come to the line now on second and two now Dalton on the right side and corralled by Phelan. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Throwing Dalton. That's caught. It's the tight end, Sanders. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. The motion man 
is Johnson. Now it's Dalton. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. You hear quarterback coaches say it all the time. Let's get our guy easy completions. Well, that falls certainly into that category, Mike, but when you fail to connect on those, it just ends up being a wasted down. Slot man in motion right. Here's Dalton. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. Sometimes you just have to know when the play is over and live to play another down. He has pressure coming right at him. And instead of just throwing the ball away, he tries to escape, he tries to get creative, and he ends up losing a lot more yards than he should have. Here's Johnny Hecker now, as he is on to punt for Carolina. Just what the punter's hoping to do. Fair catch taken right at the 10-yard line. The Vegas offense ready to get rolling again. They'll begin with first down from their own 11. They put Adams in motion. On first down, here's Minshew. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. At this level, you just would expect a little bit better execution and accuracy on those intermediate throws. I think he had an opportunity there for a nice pickup off target off rhythm and ends up getting away from him. A very good throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. And that sideline just cannot believe their guy did not come down with that play. I mean, that's as easy as it gets. I frankly don't blame him. I mean, that's a play at this level you just have to make. Your teammates are dependent on it. In motion is Myers. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. And this ball incomplete on third down. The offense just couldn't seem to get anything going that drive. They knew they had a long way to go, taking over possession that deep in their own territory. You want to pick up that first down and see if you can capitalize some momentum. Instead, the errant throw brings up fourth down, and they're going to have to punt it away. A fair catch here. Called for and made beyond the 30-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. They'll motion over Thielen. to throw here to begin the drop and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete what a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving and it'll be second down they'll motion over Thielen to the air once more on second down. That into the hands of Hubbard. So that'll do it for a fast-moving first quarter of play.
What will the second quarter have in store? And we're back in Vegas after this. Here now, third and five. Back to throw. And on third down, that ball incomplete. I think this drive, and particularly that last third down incompletion, Mike, has really summed up the story of this game offensively. No matter how many times they try to generate some plays through the air, there's just nowhere to go with the ball. In this case, the coverage is tight. They go three and out again. They've got to have earlier success and not just wait for third down to bail themselves out. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The Raiders' offense about ready to take over once more. They'll begin inside their own 15-yard line, so a lot of real estate to cover. It's first and ten. They'll start this on the ground. And here's White. And he'll get to about the 15. And that's it. Here's a second and nine. From the gun, here's Minshew. That's a short one caught by Bowers. This is one of those throws where I don't think the risk is worth the reward. If you're going to throw the ball into tight coverage and take a chance, it better lead to a big gain. And in this case, a pretty modest pickup, considering that was a risky throw. Third and five. Man in motion here is Tucker. He'll try and throw with Minshew. He connects with the open man. That's Myers. It's a gain of 10 yards. First down, Vegas. down it's white he'll be brought down after a short pickup two at the 29 Minshew out of the pistol here He's got his man, Devontae Adams. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. In motion is Myers. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. complete to his tight end Bowers. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Throwing with anticipation, it not only requires the confidence in both your accuracy and the timing, but it also forces the receiver to be on time and where the quarterback expects you to be. And this is one of those examples, man. When those two things are on point, it results in a first down. On the ground this is white and a nice run there he'll be stopped just shy of a first down a pickup of nine 
This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. They'll run up the middle. It's Madison. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. That's a heck of a stop there defensively, Mike. Second and in inches, you're thinking the first down is pretty much a formality. But not for this defense. They pack it in tight. They sell out on the run. And they're going to force this team to snap it again on third down. On third down, it's White. And he'll have the first down at the 26. So good job on the ground to keep this drive rolling. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. In motion is Myers. Here's Minshew now on first and ten. Under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. Feels like they needed that sack this entire drive. It feels like the defense was really on their heels. The offense was taking it to them really however they wanted to. So to be able to take a deep breath now, disrupt the rhythm of the drive by getting that sack, that might go a long way now to allow them to get off the field. On second down, a run with White. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Just watch the speed of the pursuit out of this safety on this tackle, Mike. His ability to play from depth and attack the line of scrimmage and meet that ball carrier in the hole and keep him to no gain. You don't see a lot of safeties able to make that tackle in the open field. That's pretty impressive. And that is incomplete. Just a great example of not only the anticipation, but the instincts to go break that pass up, Mike. You can see he's clearly looking at the quarterback's eyes. And once that ball was delivered, he's just attacking it and breaking it up. On fourth down, on comes Daniel Carlson for the Raiders' field goal. This from an even 50 yards out. Carlson's kick is good. And the Raiders will take a 3-0 lead. So after the field goal to open up the scoring, the kicker's back out for this kickoff. Raheem Blackshear on the return. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Panthers' offense back onto the field for their next possession. The offense is a little slow to start percolating. 3-0 the score as they begin this drive with a first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Defensively, that's just a missed opportunity, Mike. Anytime you have two defenders in the area and neither one of them is able to make a play on the ball, yes, I know that the ball felt incomplete, but man, you got to get your hands on that ball and take advantage. Shotgun snap, and they'll run. Here's Hubbard. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Well, there's not a whole lot of fancy going on here, Mike. This is just kind of old-school line-up and run smash-mouth football. It's exactly what they did, but it still ends up in a big game, and he picks up the first down. The motion man is Sanders. 
to throw is Dalton. And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Deontay Johnson, the intended target there. And it'll be second down. I think at some point for this quarterback, he has to start looking some other directions. I mean, he's tried to get the ball now to this guy multiple times, and all of them have resulted in incomplete passes. I'm not saying don't throw it to him in the future, but maybe get yourself a couple easy completions elsewhere before you look back in his direction. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. Whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. So a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. They'll motion over Thielen. A shotgun snap. He'll look to throw. He'll check this down to the running back. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. Mingo, the man in motion. Back to the air one more time. He'll look over the middle and find his running back. He's going to be taken down at about the 30. This is such a challenging route for any defender to guard, Mike, and here's why. It's really a three-way go. I can either run into the flat, I can either sit and stop and just find open space, or in this case, the defender overcommits. I could break back across his face to the middle of the field, and you're wide open. Dalton. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass you say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield, but now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Dalton to throw. Oh, he's going to be bottled up. And taken down. They got him. I think the most frustrating element to all of this is when you look downfield, there's guys open. There's plays to be made downfield in the passing game, but quite frankly, the pass protection has just been so bad that they haven't been able to take advantage of any of it. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Out of the gun, he'll throw. He'll dump this down to Hubbard. It'll gain some yardage here, but that is not nearly enough for the first down. So it's going to bring up fourth down. This offense just can't buy a third down conversion right now, Mike. And if you're not going to have a lot of explosive plays, that's just not a formula for success. The ability to sustain drives, maintain possession, that's a critical factor in scoring points in the NFL. And... So far, this has been about as bad as it gets. And that's really well done here, Mike. I mean, everything's in rhythm. A good snap, a good hold, and a good kick ties this game. ties things up and we're back at it as this kicks away this one taken at the seven nice job on the return he's down close to the 35 yard line the Raiders offense and their running back Zamir White heading onto the field they'll set out in search of a first touchdown in this game just a pair of field goals to show it's 3-3 as they start first and ten Thank <laughs> you. 
Here's Minshew. They'll come up here on second down and five. To throw Minshew. To the left side, and Adams has it. Call it a gain of 13. Good for a Raider first down. get one of the defenders to jump. Now it's White. And he'll get forward for a couple. It's second down. three our score two minutes to go in this first half we'll return to las vegas after this here's second and three to go and now he's not spiking it it's a fake i love this call mike second down and short one of the best downs in football to take a shot Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. But a nice job by the quarterback. Realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off. Turn into a runner. Pick up the first down. The give to White. Strong running there. Inside the 30. On the move with a gain of nine. Second and a yard. Now Minshew. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play. Winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass, because that quarterback, he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time, and... He's able to secure a really nice catch. Here's first and ten. Man in motion here is Tucker. On first and ten, it's Minshew. And that is incomplete. But now a penalty flag comes in late. He might have been caught with his hands in the cookie jar. They can still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the 11. Minshew. Now he takes off. That play had sack written all over it. So that's a great job by the quarterback, not only escaping the initial pressure, even though he doesn't gain a whole lot, he's able to pick up some positive yards for what looked like a disaster in the start. Throwing is Minshew. That's hauled in at the two. And he'll take it on in. Jacoby Myers. Touchdown, Vegas.
Daniel Carlson on to attempt the extra point. He gets it to go. And the Raiders will go up by seven. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. How much too much power on that kick over the back lines with the new rules in effect. They'll start the drive at the 30-yard line. Fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. Now it's Dalton. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. Jatavian Sanders was the intended receiver, and it'll bring up second down. Here's Dalton. It's caught Mingo with the grab. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Throwing, Dalton. A throw, left side, caught by Sanders. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. If he doesn't pick up the extra yards after the catch, they've got a fourth down play call they feel great about, and we're going to see what it looks like. Good hang time. The fair catch will be made back at their own 12. The home team's offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. This will start from the 12, trying to put a drive together here. It's first and 10. From the gun, here's Minshew. That's a short one, caught by Bowers. And he's not going to get too far, tackled after a gain of just a yard. Here's second and nine. One final throw before the break. Open man. That's Trey Tucker. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we reach halftime here in Vegas. And the Raiders are in the lead as we send you to Orlando. We'll check in with the coach. Jonathan Coachman has the EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. This taken at the five. Uh-huh. 
He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Panthers offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. Now Dalton. That one pinballs around, but it is incomplete. I think that play probably results in a completion if that protection just holds up a little bit longer. It was that initial pressure in the face of the quarterback that forced him to get rid of that ball a little bit earlier than he wanted. Disrupts that timing, ruins the play. Mingo, the man in motion. Back to the air once more on second down. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Just a little slow developing on that screen play there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. The motion man is Sanders. On third down, they'll set up to throw. That one into the hands of Thielen. He's got it. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. I really like the rhythm that this offense has found. I mean, that third down, that wasn't a layup by any means, but they made it look easy. Everybody was exactly where they needed to be. The quarterback did a nice job working through his progression, saying, okay, I understand this is zone defense. I understand where the limitations of the coverage are. I'm going to get to that spot on the field as fast as I can, deliver the ball, pick up the first down. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. The motion man is Johnson. They'll throw out of the gun. And that ball in and out of his hands. It is incomplete. Might tell you after the game, he should have come up with that one. He doesn't, and now third down comes up. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really making more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. The motion man is Johnson. That's over the middle to his tight end, Sanders. A pickup of 12 yards. It's good for a Panther first down. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. A couple of first downs has them out to the 45-yard line as it's first and 10. To throw is Dalton. That's made right side. It's Johnson. Receiver in motion, going right. Back to the air one more time. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Unfortunately, Mike, over my career, I've been in this guy's shoes plenty of times, probably more than I wish to admit. You take your eyes off the ball. You think about becoming a runner before securing the catch, and... When you do that, you end up watching the ball fall to the ground. On third down, they'll throw from the gun. 
19 yards on the pickup for number 19. And it's a first down. Points have certainly been hard to come by in this one today, Mike, but it seems like this drive has been what they've been searching for. A little bit of rhythm, the ability to sustain. Now they got to finish. Now they got to capitalize on these first downs and go finish with six. They'll come up here first and ten. They'll motion over Thielen. Dalton. Catch is made. That's Mingo. Now they are in business inside the 15-yard line. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike. How well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. The motion man is Johnson. Dalton to throw. Going to set up the screen here to Hubbard. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. They'll look to throw yet again. The second down throw is incomplete. Dropping a catchable ball is one of the worst feelings. It feels like the entire stadium is laughing at you. And all I know is firsthand, you just want to get another opportunity to put that one behind you. They'll come up to third and three. Tremble comes in motion. They'll throw here on third and short yardage. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. He's got to find a way to hold on to that one. I mean, you're right on the doorstep of the end zone. And listen, I understand that hit is coming. But guess what? That hit's coming whether you catch it or not. And you get paid to make the difficult catches. And I would classify that one as... And he's into the end zone. Cuba Hubbard. Touchdown, Carolina. Good drive. They kept the ball. Greg, they moved it effectively down the field and finished it off on the ground for the touchdown. So often, Mike, we see teams work on a great drive to get down here close, only to settle for a field goal. But in this case, give them a lot of credit. They put a great drive together, but they're able to capitalize and finish it off with six. On now, Eddie Pinheiro for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Panthers will tie things up. It's now 10 to 10. This one's kicked off. Now return coming from the seventh. Oh, yeah. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The home team's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And really, he has not produced a whole lot of highlights as we thought about coming in that he could be a featured back in this one. Instead, no running lanes, no room to operate, stuck at the line of scrimmage, and generally taking this offense out of its flow. First and 10. In motion is Myers. Here's a give up the middle with White. Who managed to get two, maybe three on that carry. Xavier Woods there on the stop.
second and seven. Another run here with White. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. All week long, they stress, Mike, that we have to get as many defenders to this ball carrier as possible. They know he's going to make some guys miss. He's going to be hard to get on the ground. But you can see the effect of rallying to the ball as it had here. They're able to take him down, and they're able to do it for a loss. And that is incomplete. So the hope is your one-third down conversion from really jump-starting a possession that ultimately leads in points. But after that third down incompletion, kind of throws a wrench into those plans. The Raiders have their punt team out there. As he's on for the fifth time this afternoon. Now a fair catch, and it's going to be a long field. They'll take over right about their own 13. The visitors' offense starting to trot out for this next possession. They'll see if they can go about breaking our tie. We're all even at 10 as this drive begins, first and 10. They'll motion over Thielen. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And get this complete. It's Thielen over the middle. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage. And so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Looks like movement over there on the left side, and the flag is down. The motion man is Sanders. Back to throw. Back to the right, caught by Sanders. They need the 24-yard line as they come up for third down. He'll look to throw. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. And no return on this one. Fair catch signal for and take it. The home team's offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. A low scoring game, all tied, third quarter. And a touchdown here could go a long way. See if they can get it on this drive. First and ten. Off the play fake. It's been shoot. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. To say football is a game of inches may be an understatement after that last play. I mean, if he gets there just a little bit quicker, he can get two hands on it and reel it in. And instead of just forcing the incomplete, he could have had himself a pick. He'll try again here. Second and ten. A give. And here's White. He is not going to get away. Might have gotten a yard, but it will set up third down. Okay. 
the shotgun, a throw from Minshew. To the right side, hauled in by Myers. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big gains like this. In motion is Myers. On the ground, it's White. And he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five. Minshew going to look to throw. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. As you can probably imagine, Mike, this one really burns me. I mean, man, I wish my fellow tight ends catch every ball the entire game, but to be this open and not come down with it, I'm going to have to set a reminder. Next year at TEU, we're going to have to bring out some jugs machines. He's got Myers on the completion. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. And good blocking up front paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. They'll go again with White. And he's got it. First down. A pickup of four. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short, play action pass, you can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. In motion is Myers. On first down, right back to White. And they'll bring this inside the 30, a gain of about five. On play action, here's Minshew. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And this is too far over the end line. It's incomplete. You have to come down with those opportunities. You're not going to get your hands on the ball very often as a defensive player. And when you do, let alone in the end zone, those are plays you just have to make. He'll try and throw with Minshew. That is brought in at the 10. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the 5. Really nice job here by the tight end, understanding that if you're not open, get open. And if you are open, stay open. He found a nice void in the zone on the backside of the defense, friendly to the quarterback. Nice pickup. This drive has been methodical, but will they turn it into six points? It is first and goal. They try to push forward, but only a yard down to the two. The ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. One more time, it's White. And he will power his way into the end zone. Zamir White, touchdown Raiders. A lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball.
finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side. And in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. Now Carlson to add the extra point. The kick is good. And the Raiders go up by seven. It is now 17 to 10. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. On the return, here comes Blackshear. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Get this drive started on the ground. It's Hubbard. And he'll get about five past the 30-yard line. So both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll stick to the ground. And he'll be tackled up around the 45-yard line. Remember this one thing, Mike. It is not how well or how often you run the ball in the NFL. It's when do you run the ball well in the NFL. And I think that's what a lot of these offensive play callers are starting to realize. Can you run the ball well in critical moments of the game? More important than how many gross yards you run for. Throwing. Dalton. That's on the right side and corralled by Felix. A good spot here, second and a yard. The motion man is Sanders. They'll run. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of one. Here is a big one. Third down and two. They'll run here. And he's going to go backwards again. They went to him twice in a row. The defense stops him twice in a row for loss. And now it's fourth down. This is one of those down and distances where the offense really could either run or pass. But give credit to the defense. They sold out to stop the run. And boy, were they right. They take him down for a loss. Hunting time for the Panthers, set to kick this one away. Be forced to punt, trailing here in the fourth quarter. And we will not have a return here. This one angle out of bounds. The home team's offense, and they're running back, getting ready to go back to work. And he has put in a full game's work, and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. Set to go now on first and ten. They put Adams in motion. They'll fake the give, and now it's Minshew. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. 
And this game almost just flipped completely on his head. You find yourself with a lead just trying to milk the clock away in the fourth quarter, and that's a gift. I mean, that defender just flat out drops the ball, and if he's able to secure that takeaway, this game looks very different for this offense. That's caught by Abdullah. And he can't get away. They rally to the football on defense and bring him down for no game. Here's a third and ten. Now, whistles here. Looks like one of the defenders got a head start. But penalty yardage certainly helps. Now it's third down, and they need five. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with a touchdown to put the game away, but you'd love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. Now, fair catch is made, and it's just inside the 15-yard line. The Panthers' offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. The motion man is Johnson. Now it's Dalton. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. The motion man is Johnson. Here's Dalton. That's thrown right side, but incomplete. This is why it's so critical that the quarterback and his intended target are on the same page. They got to speak the same language. When there's miscommunication, it leads to Aaron throws, and when Aaron throws, lead to big missed opportunities. Slot receiver. Headed right. On third down, they'll set up to throw. It's caught Mingo with the grab. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. We're all set to kick this one away. A fair catch called, and he's going to take it out beyond the 25-yard line. The Raiders' offense ready to get back at it. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and 10. They'll start this on the ground, and here's White. And he's going to be taken down at the 37. Fourth quarter, you find yourself protecting a one-possession lead. It's a fine line, Mike, between do I keep the ball on the ground, continue to work the clock, or stay aggressive, try to extend this lead to a multiple-possession game. That's the balance this play caller is dealing with right now. That's brought in by Myers. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three.
They face second down and seven. On the give, it's right. And they'll bring him down just shy of midfield, but that is enough. It's a first down. Shotgun snap and a give to White. Trying to shove his way forward, but brought down after a gain of a yard. Here's a second and nine. They run with White. And he'll get them five yards closer, but now third down coming up. From the gun, here's Minshew. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. I think as the offense comes to the sideline now, the quarterback and his wide receivers need to get together and say, hey, guys, what are you seeing out there? How can we find some open targets? Because on that last down, there was nowhere to go with the ball. And this is going to work out for him. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. The Panthers' offense ready to get back at it. We'll see how they want to attack things here. Backed up deep in their own end. It's first and ten. The motion man is Sanders. They'll keep it on the ground. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the 20. Really well executed counter run there, Mike. And what you're trying to do anytime on these misdirection schemes is you're trying to get these linebackers that might play at a 4-5 speed to maybe play at a 4-7 speed. The hesitation, not understanding exactly where the ball is going to end up, gives you an advantage offensively, just like we saw here. The motion man is Sanders. To throw is Dalton. Along the sideline. Feeling there to pull it in. They'll come up here on second down and five. The motion man is Johnson. Dalton. They try to set up the screen. This one doomed from the start. It's incomplete. Big play coming up. This is third down. The motion man is Sanders. Now Dalton. That's caught. It's the tight end Sanders. Nice job here by the defense. They understood this quarterback is looking to push this ball downfield, past the line to gain, and he's got no choice but to check it down short to the tight end. Rally tackle and brings up fourth down. On now is the punt team for the Panthers. Good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. The Raiders offense and their running back set to go once more. And it's hard to believe you could run the ball a whole lot better than he has. The vision, the cutback ability, the acceleration, the stats. It has all been on display throughout.
From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. The drive begins with a run by White. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. We've seen this back have his way with this defense all game long, Mike. He's up over 100 yards for the game, but this time the defense said, we've had enough. They sold out to stop him. They hold him to no game. On second down, here comes Madison. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as the tackle's made at the 36. You know, there's all this talk, Mike, about the value of the run game in today's NFL. You know when the run game matters? It matters right now. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead. Can you lean on your running back and offensive line to close this game out? Contact up front. Can they get one of the defenders to jump? So, a lot of options on the table now. It's first and five. They'll run over center with White. And he's going to be stopped in his tracks. He'll lose a couple of yards on that one. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense, understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take him down for a loss. The give to White. And they'll stop it. At least it's an improvement over the last play. They're not losing yardage, but it didn't gain any here. And now it's going to be third down. Well, that second down play call is not real fancy, but at this point, Mike, they're in a battle with the clock. How much time can they run off and try to protect this lead? But now it brings up a pretty interesting third down. Can they keep the ball and finish this thing on offense, or are they going to have to punt it away and have their defense finish the game? Trying to get it to his tight end, Rock Bowers. And it's going to be fourth down. The Raiders send their punt team out as they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense now as they head out to take over for their next possession. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Mingo, the man in motion. Dalton to throw. Catch is made. That's Mingo. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. They're going to run right over center with Hubbard. And he will keep the drive moving. Gets the first down. Nice gain of five. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. So, two minutes to play here in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off. After this, plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and ten. They'll drop to throw. There's a short one caught by Sanders. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. All right, this is a good start. Plays like these are definitely going to help as you work your way into scoring range. While you have to be wary of the clock and keep an eye on it, they should have plenty of time here to finish this drive. He'll drop to throw. Oh, the 
pressure too much. He goes down. That's a prototypical coverage sack. All 11 guys on the field doing their job. Starts with sound back-end coverage. Nowhere to go quick with the ball. The quarterback has no chance but to extend the play. Look for something late developing downfield. That was all the time this front needed to chase him down and bring him down for a sack. This one on target for Johnson. The Panthers will take their first timeout. They'll stop it here with 1.07 on the clock. The sound deafening in the dome. It's third down. Now this is going to be a design run. They let him keep it. And a nice job there defensively on third down. Not over committing to their pass rush. Having a plan for this quarterback as a design runner. They're able to stop him short in the first down. And it comes to fourth and two. Out of the gun, he'll throw. That pass sideline is caught. Nice catch, stays in bounds, and he's got the first down. Terrific job with the feet to make that one a grab. Here comes the blitz as he looks to throw. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's second down. They'll look to throw. Back to the right, caught by Sanders. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. They'll look to throw yet again. Now, a loose football. And that was very nearly a disaster at this juncture of the game. But fortunately, a teammate able to cradle it, and they keep possession. Sometimes these games in the NFL, Mike, they get decided by simply how the ball bounces. I mean, how often do we see a quarterback in the pocket get stripped sack, and that ball ends up going the other direction? Fortunately for them, they can regroup get back in the huddle and live another day. Ball falls into the hands of his own guy, and they'll see if they can dodge this bullet. So this one, a win for the Raiders. They were the aggressors from the start, able to dictate the pace of play. In the end, they come away with the victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. The Black Hole celebrates the Raiders. Winners here. We'll see if there are other winners outside. So long from Vegas.